Hi, this is Dean from Sentinel Candles. In today's project, I'm going to be making a French penny loaf of soap. I'm using French penny from Natural Candle Supply. So for this loaf, it's 1,092 grams. So I'm going to be using 20 mils of fragrance, which is 2%. I'm going to be using yellow liquid dye from Aussie Candle Supplies and also some Shooting Star Ultra Fine Glitter from Aussie Soap Supplies. Now, normally I would do this a yellow goat's milk, but I'm gonna do something a little bit different. I haven't tried this before. I'm gonna be using some goat's milk soap. I'm gonna make a layer at the bottom, then I'm gonna turn the loaf on the side, and then I'm gonna get a layer on the sides, on both sides, and then I'm gonna use the clear to pour in the center. I've never tried this before, so I don't know if it's actually gonna hold up on the sides, but we'll soon find out. So let's get started. Okay, so my base is melted down. I've melted down 300 grams. So what I'm gonna do is pour 100 grams in here now, I'll make a base. I'm just gonna spray that. Okay, so I'm gonna wait for that to set and then I'll be back. Okay, so my base is melted down. Now I'm gonna pour in a layer of 100 grams and then I'm gonna flip this on its side. I've got a couple of CD cases here with me and they're gonna hold it upright. I'm hoping that this is not gonna be so hot that it's gonna melt what's inside here. Otherwise, I'm gonna to have to come back and add an extra bit more in there. So I'm just gonna spray this and I'm gonna add 100 grams. So I'm gonna spray that. Okay, now I've got these CDs. I'm just gonna lean it over gently because I don't wanna tip it out, obviously. That seems to be all right. Probably could go one down. Oh, it's even better. So one CD case, I'm just gonna spray that. Okay, so I've got this side now done. I'm gonna wait until that's completely set. I'm assuming it's gonna take about 20 or 30 minutes. And then I'm gonna tip it up and I'm gonna try the other side, making sure that this side actually works first. So I'll be back soon. Okay, so the rest of my base is melted down. I'm gonna spray this and it's 100 grams. Okay, so spray that. Okay, so it worked out to be 96 grams. So I'm like four grams out from the other side. So we're just gonna tip it over on an angle. Hopefully this won't come out. There we go. So I'm just gonna spray that. Okay, so the other one worked perfectly. I'm hoping this one does the same thing. Once again, another 20 to 30 minutes for this one to set. Okay, so both sides are now set, as you can see. So it's created this like a little tunnel in there. It's small at the bottom, big at the top. So I have never done this before. So I'm sort of glad that it's worked this far. So my next step is to melt down some of this clear base, add some yellow dye, some shooting star glitter and some fragrance and then pour it straight into the mold. Okay, so my base has hit 120 degrees Fahrenheit, which is 49.1 Celsius. So normally I would spray rubbing alcohol in here to pop all the bubbles on top, but I'm not gonna do that this time. I'm simply just gonna pour it straight in. So hopefully there'll be bubbles throughout the entire thing. I've also added glitter to this, five drops of yellow. So I'm gonna spray this and pour. Okay, so I am gonna spray the top of this. But I can see in here already, there is literally lots and lots and lots of bubbles. So I'm very happy about that. And it's sparkling too. I don't know if you can see it with the camera or not. So I won't know until the morning. You'll find out in about three seconds. Okay, so it's the next morning and I'm gonna unmold this French penny. Ah, beautiful. That's what I wanted. That's exactly what I saw in my head too. Oh, amazing connections. I was hoping that these would all bond together, but I've never tried this before. And I thought, oh no, these bits are gonna fall off. And 
But no, that's uh, that stuck really well. Okay, time to cut her up. Okay, so, all cut up, all still together, it looks fantastic. Exactly as I had it in my mind before I started. So this is a bar up close, and as you can see, there's a whole heap of bubbles. Looks really beautiful, and it smells amazing. So this soap is scented with frangipani. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and if you'd like to, leave a comment below. Thanks for watching.